Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I had asked if you all were interested in making the uh, to-go coffee cups like I had in my coffee themed journal, the giveaway, and quite a few of you said, yes, Corn, we'd like to see what you did. And like I mentioned, what I did was use this, which is a tag that Hobby Lobby had on clearance last year. And it was not in good shape, um, therefore it had a little shaker here in the shape of a heart. And I deconstructed it and just turned it over and used it as my template. And I thought, you know, that's, there are people around the world who don't even know what a Hobby Lobby is, much less have one close to them. And a lot of people here have told me they don't have a Hobby Lobby close. So I promised I'd give measurements. So let me show you first that I ended up experimenting and you all did see before though that I also do a smaller size which you could also put in a pocket letter I do this size which I'll give you the dimensions for those but this is the size we'll be working on today these are the ones that were in the journal and you'll see they aren't exactly alike um, when you do uh, as you all know, as crafters, when you do this type of work, you you get close, but 100% just like it, nah, we usually don't, do we? And these are um, some of the ones I came up with. I also went a little larger. I This is my first one I experimented on. I went a little too tall with the top and a little too narrow with the cup part. But, and I also did the accordion um, fold with the band, and that was interesting. And um, so I kept it anyway because I kind of like it, but it's a little, <laughs> it's an awfully big top to that <laughs> to-go cup. And I also even went larger still and did this one with, this is, supposed to look like lace so is it here so I just put the lace here and then this is one that handsome likes a lot his very favorite went um, in a card that went with the journal so but this is his second favorite he likes it because it's kind of like you know he likes it being this paper in the background <laughs> but as you see a lot of these you the tops and the bands you can use your scraps which is fantastic and even so on the smaller ones and you know how great is that to use scraps that, you know to and make something that you think is cute or that your friend would think was cute so also another thing I wanted to show you real quick um, that's what I did um, like I said for Norma Lisa was the winner of the journal and um have I got this right yeah and this is just a card and uh, all you have to do you could put some washi or even another piece of paper down here but I like the ombre and um what I did is I put um let's see I put some of this removable tape by ad tech I got this at Ross and on the back so that she can just take it off and use it however she would like. So something like this, if you give this card just to let someone know you're thinking of them, they can also take this off and use it as an embellishment for themselves. And I also did a few um, tags with the smaller ones. And I got this die for these tags. Um, on Amazon and for a very good price and I thought these were fun I I put this here not only to pick up the roses here but so that I can put whoever I give this to their name or initials in there like they do at the coffee shops but it just says coffee time and then this is a Joey's boutique uh, donut this one too and 
you know, just some fun little tags. You, these embellishments you can just have a blast with, you know. I'm going to show you the one, though, that um, I had asked about, the one like in the journal. And so f what you're going to need, you are going to need a ruler. And I got this at Hobby Lobby. Um, my eyesight is poor, and this really helps me a lot. You're going to need some glue. I use Art Glitter Glue, and I also use Fabri-Tac. I like Fabri-Tac because it gives me a few seconds to put something on something else without it drying right away. So I've used that also, and I do have this, that in a smaller container, but it's, it's persnickety in a smaller container. You're going to use, uh, need a pencil. You're going to need, um, if you're like me and you want everything erased, <laughs> this I got at Dollar Tree, but in the past I always got the Papermate White Pearl erasers uh, from office stores, office supply stores. So, this is what you're going to need for this one. These are the dimensions on the uh, smaller one. But the one we're going to work on today is this one. You're going to need a piece of paper that is two and three quarters inch wide and three and three quarters inch tall or long. The band that you're going to make, now that can vary depending on your taste. Mine is one and one quarter inch. Okay. It is wonderful to have one of these. And bless your hearts, you all saw it dirty once because I get glue on it and then dirt gets in the glue, which isn't real cool. But it's all cleaned off now. <laughs> I'm trying to impress y'all. <laughs> so here's my paper, and I've got this marked for reasons of, you know, trying to show you all. And um, for me, it is just so much fun to be able to, let's see, go like so and so, be able to um, use these, the grid marks. But at the same time, if you're at home and you don't have something like this, but you do have your ruler, then what you're going to do is go three quarters inch from the top. And for me, if I put this on the top, three quarters inch, I'm going to have to move this over, is going to be here. Okay. But I don't have it exactly straight either. Okay. There's my three quarters inch. And just draw a line straight across. Now, when it when you turn it around, that's going to be the bottom of your cap. Now, we're going to turn it around because we're going to make marks right here at a quarter of an inch got to move this because it's getting in my ruler's way. We're going to make marks a quarter of an inch on either side. Okay. So we've got a quarter of an inch. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm going to make it here. And we're going to do the same thing here. Okay. We're going to make a quarter of an inch. And we're actually going to go in a quarter of an inch on those marks. So you're going to go like so. And let me get that right on the end. Like so. Now, this is when I usually, because you know you're going to have to make a diagonal mark going this way. And that's when I usually just wing it. But if you do not, if you think, oh, corn, I don't want to wing it, that's not cool, then what you'll do is come back up here and make a 
mark at the top and um, depending on how far you want it to go you can go over this far and this far or you can go over just let's do that let's do three quarters of an inch we'll mark there and then three quarters of an inch we'll mark here and that'll be your top but you know what I don't think so I don't think that's what I did on the other ones no that's too far let me see we went over yeah half oops sorry guys see remember I'm always I make mistakes and you all know I make mistakes and you like me anyway bless your hearts so we're going to go over half an inch and mark it and the same thing here we're going to go over half an inch and mark it and then what you'll do is you will go from this end like this do your diagonal and same thing over here do your diagonal from here to here alrighty there's our top and then to make our bottom we're going to mark a quarter of an inch here and a quarter of an inch here and at the bottom we're going to actually mark one half of an inch here and one half of an inch here and then you're going to join those two so that's going to end up giving you just the slight shape of your cup okay and there it is and then all of these pieces we're going to cut them away and what I do, uh, remember Handsome gave me these scissors, and what I have a tendency to do is just go ahead and cut like so, but not all the way because I like my tiny scissors to do that. And these, everybody has, I think here has a small pair that they just adore. That's their favorites, and that's what they like. <laughs> and when you get a pair of scissors that you really love, you learn that those are the ones you trust, you know? don't you these are the ones I trust they're by Martha Stewart I got either a year or a year and a half ago at Tuesday morning let me get you when that one little piece of paper doesn't want to let go happy to be there and it doesn't want to go anyway okay there we go there's our coffee cup <laughs> Yay! now I'm sure that you might have a better technique on you know how to do the band and how to do your time um, my band is this one and then my top, anything that you have that's, an, um, as you know, since we came down three quarters of an inch, so an inch or even three quarters of an inch, because what you're going to do is line up here and here. Okay. Check it out. So you're going to turn it over. This is what I do, but I'm, I'm sure there's quite a few that 
have other things in mind. So what I do, some people actually put it, I always leave a little bit of room, but you try to get that straight line on the straight line of this. And once I've got that where I'm happy with it, like not there, <laughs> like that, then I come again so that it can be exactly, this top will end up being exactly like this top. And if you want, you can do this just one time. Make this your template. And then do everything else, you know, accordingly. Then you're going to cut this out. in again. At least I do. You might not need to. Let go you. So here's your top, here's your band, and then I'm going to go ahead and finish it if it's alright with y'all. And when it comes to this little baby, like I said, because I like to move it if I want to move it around a little bit, I have a tendency to do the Fabri-Tac. I might go ahead and I am going to go ahead and erase that though I don't I don't like the pencil marks personally if it doesn't bother you then cool okay we're nice and clean now and let's hope this comes out like it's supposed to without me having to put a pin in it <laughs> And yes, I mean literally put a pin in it. It's just sometimes it's very, there it goes. Yeah, it's fine. But this is such a, you know, puts out such a thin, thin, um, can you see? Amount of glue that I, I end up doing this so that and make sure it stays on there. <laughs> and I have to put the top on this right away because that will dry out very quickly. And then we're just going to fit our top on. So now our top is on, and like I said, I can hear Crystal with Cruising with Crystal say, ooh, I like the gray. I like grays too, a lot. Um, here's the thing, again, we could say, you know, then put your piece here and then make sure it's, cent you know, not center, but close to the center of it and all that, but here's the thing, do it where you want it if you want the band you know but for me from what I see remember I don't drink coffee it's right about there it's mostly there so but I need to straighten this out so, uh, so 
it's mostly around there. And what I do is I'll go ahead and cut it um, here. And then once it's glued on, I will cut the rest of it. And for this one, for the bands, I go ahead and use um, this size fabric tag. And put it here. I need to put the cap on that too. I know it takes time, y'all, but I don't want it to get dry. And then I'm going to go ahead. I think it looks good right about there. And let's see. There. And I don't think we want that glue there. See, that happens to me all the time. <laughs> I leave, I have glue where, see how it's allowing me to straighten it out a little bit. And unfortunately, I got too much on there. So I can do that, though. The thing is, as much as I love Fabri-Tac, it has a sheen to it. Oh look, there's some over there too. <laughs> now just wipe that off and try to wipe it off of me too. And even though this is still wet, um, I think you all saw me haul these scissors. These are uh, Fiskars, but these are the ones that you can cut anything that's got like um, a glue to it and the residue won't stick. And it's pretty sweet that it does that. You know, but they, um, the thing that's not real fun about them is they're very stiff. But I paid um, something like $3.99 for them at Ross. So I have no complaints whatsoever. <laughs> and what you do if you get some of that fabric tack on them as you can see it look it just literally wipes away I can't say enough about that I know I'm not a representative for Fiskars so this is what we've got so far we didn't go ahead and score it but as I was saying on some of my other ones what you would do this is my smaller score pad if you want it that scored you would just come here take your oops can you see me no okay sorry guys take your score pad and just do every one you'd score every one because that makes it look like it's corrugated. See? Do you see the... I hope that's showing with the light that it looks like it's corrugated. But I didn't do that today for the sake of time. Okay. And then with decorations... That's all up to you. Um, I found this one, but it's too big. <laughs> this one would go on the large, great big ones that I did. I'll probably do one with this. It says, it's a wonderful life after coffee. <laughs> or I also did this die cut that is a ticket. And you could place that here because I thought something like that might be cute, especially the black with the gray and white because you put gray and white together and you got black. But I thought that would be cute because um, to me, this is would be like a free ticket of, I mean, a ticket for a free coffee. Wouldn't that be fun? I might do that one. You've seen me, a lot of the times I do the circles, you know, and this is the only circle I have out right now that fits within there. I also thought it might be fun to do like a black, triangle here and then maybe the circle there if you wanted to bring pink in but I kind of like that ticket you know 
You could also do the green triangle. Like I said, if you've got scraps around, you can have fun, you know? Like so. Well, that's kind of pretty too, isn't it? That Well, you know I love the green and pink together. And this uh, really does have a gray background. You can hardly see any of it. I have a larger circle. If you wanted to go big, there you can see the gray, darker gray, pretty well. So there's another way to do it. But I kind of get a kick out of that and say I had a ticket for a cup of free coffee. Eee. Or a free cup of coffee. I don't know why I can't say that properly. <laughs> Speaking of that, if you're going to have this, don't you think you should have a donut? Yes, I got hungry while I was setting up and I took a bite. And oh, wait a minute. Let me take this top off. There you go, guys. I'll pour you all some. Put the top back on. <laughs> And as you know, you can use this as your, um, you put your hole here, hole punch, your paper punch there, put a hole and make it a tag, or use it as an embellishment, put it in a journal, just, you, you all are so creative, you know what you want to do with it. But I just thought that I would come on and give you the dimensions of um, this one which is right there. And this is for that small one. Those are the dimensions for this little one, <laughs> which would fit into your um, little pockets easier. So I will also, I will list these in the description box below. And I will also put there my, um, the great big tag if you're if you all are interested in doing one this large and I'd like to thank you all for joining me today and I hope you have a wonderful morning afternoon or evening bye bye everybody